Hey everyone, Professor Baldwin here. Today we're going to look at how to find the slope-intercept form of a line that satisfies the given conditions. First, remember that slope-intercept form is our y equals mx plus b format. So we're told that we want a line that is parallel to 2x plus 4y equals 5, and it needs to pass through the point 1, 2. The key things here are parallel. Parallel means they have to have the same slope. And once we have that slope, we can find the intercept. So to find the slope, we need to take our given equation, 2x plus 4y equals 5, and rewrite it in that slope-intercept form. So we need to isolate y. So let's subtract 2x from both sides, which gives us 4y equals negative 2x plus 5. I want that negative 2x first because then it stays in that slope-intercept format. Now to isolate y even further, it's multiplied by 4, so let's divide each term by 4. That leaves us with a y on the left-hand side equals um, negative 2 divided by 4 simplifies to negative 1 half times x plus 5 fourths. Well, we don't really care about the 5 fourths because we just need the slope because our new equation will have the same slope. So our slope is negative 1 half. So our new equation is going to be y equals negative 1 half x plus b. Well, we don't know what b is, so we need to solve for b. And that's where that given point comes in. Remember that a point is x and y. So we can substitute these values, 1 and 2, in for our x and y, and then solve for b. So our y is 2, so 2 equals negative 1 half times x, which for our point is 1, plus b. Remember, we're trying to solve for b, so the b stays there until we can isolate it. So simplify the right-hand side. Negative 1 half times 1 remains as negative 1 half and plus b. And to isolate b, we need to add 1 half to both sides. So we have 2 plus 1 half equals b. And 2 plus 1 half simplifies. We'll put it in fraction form. So 2 is actually 4 over 2 plus 1 half, or 5 halves equals our b. So now that we have our b, we can substitute that in to our equation up here where we know our slope and we get a final answer of y equals negative one half x plus our b, which is now five halves. 